If at first. Okay, this is the second time I've tried to... Yeah, it's recording now. I don't know. Just because I wasn't talking while I was showing off my signs. Should have put some more back there. Maybe I will tomorrow. Um, hello, it's Tuesday. It is oh, 5.48 p.m. Man, I should have done this an hour ago. I gotta stop doing other stuff. If I just if I just didn't have to work while I was at work. Alas. Current temperature, I am told, is 63 degrees. Sounds good to me. Yep, 63 and sunny. We had a little hail last night, but that's supposed to be it for the week as far as precipitation goes. So maybe, just maybe. Time to mow the lawn. Now it's supposed to actually it's supposed to rain on Saturday, which is going to ruin all my plans to get yard work done. So next Monday is the first uh, week of the year where the city of Minneapolis will pick up yard waste, and also the last month ever that they will allow yard waste in garbage bags. After April, it has to be uh, green. It has to be compostable or paper or that kind of flimsy green stuff that's like Kleenex. I don't know. Just sounds to me like an expensive way of me not using garbage bags. And it'll at least make our mayor feel good because we're being so environmentally conscious. He loves doing stuff that, it, that well, I would never besmirch our, our wonderful mayor. Was a very handsome man, and who I once built a shrine to. But he loves it when other people have to spend their money. Boy. In that sense, I can't help but think he will seek higher office as a member of the DFL very soon. This is not exactly breaking news, but for those of you who don't live in Minneapolis, it's news to you. Just like everything else I say, right? So, big raw last night. Yeah, I think the powers that be, as much as we want to dog WrestleMania, well, as much as I want to dog WrestleMania, there's still some of you who think it was the greatest ever. Although, Scott Scott Christ is with me, so if you go to tapemachinesaroling.blogspot.com, and if you, I said that too critically, you can follow Tape Machines on Twitter and check out his opinions. I think he's got it right, that there's a generation of people who think they've got a good, but really don't know how good it can be. I think that's what he was trying to get across. I shouldn't try to claim his words. Well, I'm not. But he, he said some stuff I agreed with, or at least my interpretation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so my point, which I started a long time ago, was that the powers that be realized that as much as we will dog so many people will watch it, but what's even more important is the night following it, Raw. The audience is bigger, more of a chance to make an impression, get their hooks into the audience to leave them coming back for more, or at least wanting more. So it's kind of a double-edged deal. Like, on the one hand, you got Vince saying to the shareholders, and you know he's just bullshitting them. He's not really saying... He's saying what he thinks they want to hear. That, oh, we'll, we'll use these nostalgia acts to bring people back to the product, but then we're going to hook them on the new folks. He says stuff like that on one hand, and then on the other hand, he does the 18-second job for Daniel Bryan. And remember, everybody's really excited about how the crowd treated Daniel Bryan and how the crowd is going to make Daniel Bryan something, but it's almost as if everyone has forgotten that Daniel Bryan's opponent, Sheamus, is the quintessential hand-picked by Triple H guy. So do you really think Daniel Bryan is going to get as far along as the crowd is pushing him? I think you have an optimism that I do not have. And you can call me cynical or you can call me pessimistic, but it's not as if I'm describing a scenario we haven't seen before where the internet darling or the smarts choice for some reason doesn't get over when the guy handpicked by a McMahon 
or someone who married a McMahon finds themselves at the top of the card. Something for you to think about. But that's enough wrestling. I did enough wrestling yesterday, and, and those of you who are watching for things other than wrestling, actually, I don't know if those if there are any of those of you at all. You guys need to talk to me more so I know how I'm doing. I guess you're still watching. Or maybe you're not. I haven't checked my numbers either, so remind me to do that later. Question from Chris. Speaking of weekend sporting events filled with nostalgia, how was Vanilla Ice? I completely forgot to talk about Vanilla Ice at the Timberwolves Celtics game on Friday. And let me tell you, he was awesome. He was awesome. He, he knows what the people want, and he delivers it straight into their veins. Uh, it helped that he was surrounded by all our local acts, so the local dance crew, the local pop and lock crew, and the Timberwolves dancers all had part of the show. But he came out at halftime. He did about a minute and a half of uh, Play That Funky Music, White Boy. He did about 10 seconds of Ninja Rap, which was hilarious. But it was a call and response, and he did the call, and we did the response. And I should say, I should add, nobody got up and bought concessions during halftime because we all wanted to see Vanilla Ice. And we all loved Vanilla Ice, and we gave Vanilla Ice the reception that a artist of his stature and caliber deserved. Excuse me, I shouldn't have burped there. How inappropriate. And after the ninja rap, of course, it was Ice Ice Baby from then on out, which was, he did the whole song, so four or five minutes. And it was great. And he had a DJ that looked like La Parca, and he had some kind of voodoo doll on his rig for some reason. I don't know. Nobody cared about any of that because nobody was looking at him. They were looking at Ice, they were looking at the dancing. And they were looking at the, the flashing lights and the great big pyrotechnical explosion deal. Boom. <clears throat> And he went just long enough that the Celtics had to come out and just kind of be amused and watch him. But I think Kevin Garnett was into it, so it was okay. Unfortunately, the Timberwolves lost, so. Vanilla Ice, sitting next to the Timberwolves bench, did not bring any magic. And once again, we went down to KG's new team. Which, you can't really call it that anymore unless you're a Timberwolves fan. And I wasn't even much of a Timberwolves fan when KG was on the team, so figure that out. I'm a complicated man. No one understands me but my woman, CRZ. I think that's it. I don't think I have any other comments to talk about, but let me uh, check. Oh, there's one more wrestling one from JJD. What do you think of the crowd at Raw? Chanting idiots are ruining wrestling. You know, I understand why they chanted the way they did. And I'm sure they think they're really clever. And blah, 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 blah. Shut up. You don't appreciate wrestling like I appreciate wrestling. I am the only true wrestling fan. Someday I'm going to put that all down in an essay. And it will be hilarious and exciting. And it will make you think. And it will make certain people who don't get it hate me. I promise a lot. And then I never deliver. So don't ever expect to read that. But if I were, it, it's knocking around in my head. I will never actually write it, but yeah. That's me. All potential and no delivery. I'm doing a quick check of the usual spots to see if there's anything I missed, but I'm pretty sure that's it. So if you just bear with me. Do, 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 do. Someone wants me to play Solitaire Blitz. Let me tell you what really exciting thing happened today, though. The really exciting thing that happened today was Instagram came out on the Android phone. So now, as I unplug my phone and it makes noise, expect to see a lot of really crappy altered photos from me from now on. That is, if you follow me in the usual spots where you'd expect to see Instagram stuff, which would be Twitter, or Facebook, or Tumblr. If you need to get to any of those places, if you're curious about how to find them or how to find me, crz.net. At CRZ on Twitter, here and there. Unless I see a comment on YouTube, I'm going to close it out. Uh-oh, I'm in the wrong account. How quickly can I log in? I'm coming up on 10 minutes, too. Will I finish in time? Uh, no, because nothing's happening. In fact, it looks like we're frozen. I wonder if I'm still talking to you. Hello? Well, I'm still moving. All right, well, that'll do it. Uh, I hope you have a great uh, rest of your Tuesday. 
unless you're seeing this some other day, in which case, have a great one of those days. I'll see you tomorrow, or, or you can just watch the next video, depending on what time it is in your area. Thanks.